be me too. I'd wanna be me too. Yes, yes, I know that intro was kind of cringy. But yeah, let's begin. So I've already primed my face with Nivea Post Shave Balm. And I'm gonna color correct my face now. I'm gonna put the greens on the redness of my face because they are opposites on the primary color wheel. So they will cancel each other out. The salmon will be on the dark eye circles area. We're going to use the foundation brush to blend it all out. Next, we're going to apply foundation. And don't judge me, I know the color is too pale for my face. But that's because I got way tanner in Bali. I'm blending it out with the sponge from Mila VID. Check out their Instagram. I have two extra of these sponges, so check out my Instagram for a giveaway of these. Um, they didn't ask me to do this, I just felt like giving it away because I love it and I think it's really really cute. Next up, we're gonna conceal our under eyes with Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I love this just to highlight the high points of my face, so like my T-zone and above my jaw on my chin and then I'm gonna use that same sponge, make sure it's damp by the way, and just dab it all away. After you seamlessly dab it away, we want to bake so that we won't have any creasing throughout the day and we can have better oil control of our face also. I'm using this translucent powder from Cogendo. I don't like it for everyday use so I kind of just use it to bake because baking is kind of a waste of powder if you think about it. So find a powder that you're not completely in love with and then I'm going to contour my face of course. <laughs> using this my very new elf contour palette i love it so far after mixing the two colors and putting it on my cheekbones my jawline on the sides of my nose and on the the, 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 the temples of my head sorry i can't talk today and then just brush it all off with a powder brush this one's from rain brush and then i did my brows off camera with this cleo pen so we're just gonna go ahead with tape so that we really get that sharp edge on the sides of our eyes Make sure to prime your lids all over, including the inner corners and below the lash line. Oh my gosh, you guys, I freaking love this palette so much, the Tartlet In Bloom palette. I'm going to use the Smarty Pants and Sweetheart to do the transition color, so right on top of my crease, so that the color just blend seamlessly into my real skin color. And then we're going to use this purple color, this very vibrant violet color, with my small brush from Zoeva wet it a bit so that it'll come across very pigmented then you want to draw a line on your crease it's kind of like a soft cut crease and follow the tapes line so that you'll kind of have a purple wing on the ends of your eyes just blend out the harsh edges with a blending brush and your previous transition color now we're gonna go in the star of the show which is this blue gray glitter from lit cosmetics and i'm gonna Dab it in the glue that it came with and just apply it all over my lid. Stop right below your crease to make a cut crease effect. You want to be very slow with this process. Dab it in more glue and then put it in more glitter and keep repeating this process until you get the result that you like. Slowly peel the tape off and dab away with your sponge again so you don't have that weird tape line. With my damp brush, I'm going to apply that purple to my lower lash line as well, extending it almost all the way into my inner corners. And I got some green around my nose that I didn't notice, so I'm blending that out. So once you've done that, you want to line your eyes with liquid eyeliner. Be careful not to peel the glitter off. So you need a really wet but stable liquid eyeliner for this step. Let's go full glam with false lashes. This one's from her underscore sin. I'll put all the links in the description box. And these are really lightweight and comfortable on the eyes. I'm going to apply it as close as possible to my lash line and wait for it to dry. And then I'm going to apply Funny Girl into the inner corners just to brighten my eye up and finish the whole eye look up. I love this color so much for the inner corners. I think it's my favorite Apply mascara to combine your false lashes to your real lashes. And I'm using Mauve Me by NYX. I love this color because it's kind of purplish and it looks very natural on the cheeks. I've decided to line my lower lash line as well, so I'm using this brush with a black, I think I use a gel liner or a black eyeshadow, I can't remember. And it will just kind of make my eye look more dramatic. 
<laughs> and then now I'm going to use this highlighter from MAC and using a fan brush. Ever since using a fan brush to apply my highlighter, I haven't looked back ever since. It's just so easy. I'm going to apply it to the tip of my nose to make it look higher and also in the middle part of my nose. Dab your cheeks with the sponge to make your highlight, blush, and contour blend seamlessly together so that it won't look like three blocks of different color. Finish up with Kinda Sexy by MAC. This is, I swear, my favorite lipstick of all time. And there you have it. We're done with the look. Thanks for watching, everybody. I post one to two videos every week, so don't forget to subscribe. I love every single one of you, and I'll see you next week. Bye!